U.S. President Barack Obama appears to have fought back after his less than stellar performance in the first presidential debate. The second debate yesterday saw Obama aggressively challenge Republican Mitt Romney. That tactic saw the president come out on top in both CNN and CBS polls after the 90-minute debate in New York. Election analyst Robert Patman is here to give us his thoughts as the campaign unfolds. Good evening, Professor Good evening, Patman. Rebecca. What do you think were the highlights from yesterday's debate? I think there were many. I thought it was uh, democratic politics at its best, actually. Both candidates uh, were supremely well prepared. Uh, they both were fluent, uh, articulate, uh, had intellectual grasp of the issues. They reached completely different conclusions. There were many highlights, but for, I suppose, really the, the exchange that followed on the economy. Uh, Mr. Romney was, I think, developed, delivered a very impressive critique of Mr. Obama's uh, record in office, the gap between the promise he offered and the actual performance. Um, but uh, Mr. Um, Obama rounded on him um, in another question, strangely enough, which was when someone asked about the comparisons between Mr. Bush and Mr. Romney. And Mr. Obama took the opportunity to remind the audience that the economic and the economics of Mr. Romney's approach, and also the foreign policy of Mr. Bush's approach, of Mr. Romney's approach, bore striking resemblance mm. to that of Mr. Bush. Now, I understand that this debate was more of a physical affair. Yes, that, uh, what was striking about it, because the, the, in this uh, debate, uh, Rebecca, the, 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 the environment was completely different. Um, in the previous debate, they were sitting down facing each other, just like we are, with a, a moderator. In this debate, it was a town hall forum, and both speakers got up from their chairs and walked around as they fielded questions from the audience. What was interesting is they both not only interrupted each other, but they also physically walked into each other's space, and at times... If you cut off the sound and watch them, it seems like they were sort of like two boxers engaged in a, a physical dance. And there were real points of tension. Mm. Two major confrontations, one over the Libyan episode and another one where Mr Romney tried to rather pressurise uh, Mr Obama, who turned it into a joke. Um, he was lecturing Mr Obama about... Uh, he, he wouldn't know that his pensions are being invested in China. And Mr. Rom uh, Mr. Obama responded by saying, well, no, he wouldn't know that because he doesn't consult his pensions because he hasn't got as much to consult as Mr. Romney. So, yeah, it was quite interesting. Now, surveys show Mr. Obama won. Was that the impression that you got? I thought it was a... a yes, I think he did get the edge, and partly because I think many people were impressed by, by the fact that Mr. Obama... He looked completely different. He looked up for it. He looked fired up. He was well-prepared. He was fluent and hard-hitting. Completely different from the first performance, but I can't help feeling there was a tactical edge to this. Many people are not talking about this, but I don't think Mr Obama could have delivered such an aggressive performance in his first debate with Mr mm. Romney. Um, he could do it after having a bit of a flop in the first one. Mm. What did you think about Mr Romney's performance? I thought he was quite... He, it, was, it was impressive. He certainly held his own. Uh, I think he overplayed his hands at some time. At times, he tried. there were two occasions where he tried to rather, I think physically and intellectually browbeat uh, Mr Obama, and both times it backfired on him. Mm -hmm. There were two flashpoints in the debate, um, yeah, particularly over Libya. Now, there's one debate left. What will the two opponents be hoping to achieve from it, do you think? Victory. <laughs> <laughs> um, we, we're not quite clear how the relationship between these debates and how they play out. Uh, but I, I'm, I think that this second debate we've just witnessed will have major consequences. And they'll both be very keen to impress in the next debate, which is on foreign policy. But I have a feeling, by the way, that they will interpret foreign policy to include the linkages between American economic policy and foreign policy, because uh, Mr Romney, for example, is pledged to spend an extra $2 trillion on the American military in the, next two uh, two, in the next decade. And I'm sure Mr Obama will be raising that. So I think it'll be a multi-sided treatment of foreign policy. Oh, watch the space. We'll probably see you next week, Professor Patman. Thanks Thank very much for your time. Thank you.